Team Abishkar represents IIT Madras and India at the SpaceX Hyperloop Pod competition. The team is comprised of 30 highly enthusiastic students working on a mission to develop a very fast and efficient Hyperloop Pod. The team qualified for round one design specifications of the SpaceX Hyperloop Pod competition in 2018 and are enthusiastic of India's role in developing Hyperloop technology for the 2019 timeline. So hi, Avishkar Hyperloop. Uh, welcome to In the Hyperloop. Thanks so much for joining today. Thank you, Blake. So I mentioned briefly in the introduction that you are uh, from Avishkar Hyperloop. You're in India. You've applied for the SpaceX pod competition for this year, um, but you're now you're working for next year's pod competition. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about Avishkar Hyperloop and your, your roles in, in that work and uh, your mission? Like when Elon Musk proposed this concept, we were very much new to this and we didn't know it actually what it's going to be. Yep. But then one of our teams uh, from India participated in the, this very competition and they got successful. Then we thought of doing the same thing and we are one of the most prestigious institutions of the country. And uh, so we thought of uh, converting that physics into some kind of engineering. And then uh, with the mission, that mission, we started this team uh, late back in uh, se September 2017, last year. Wow. Yeah. So in, in India, uh, there's, a, there's a team called uh, Hyperloop India. Mm -hmm. And the second team, who, uh, which is completely into Hyperloop is us. Yeah. That is Avishka Hyperloop. Yeah, yeah. So there are mainly two teams from India who is uh, doing this right now. Mm -hmm. So uh, we will be having the fully like functional pod till the till December this year. So this time India didn't make it to the competition, but next time India yeah, will be winning the competition. That's the motivation. We yes. Have. And we we went on to design. Uh, we went on to do the engineering stuff for one month, and then we cleared the preliminary design round. And then we uh, went on to do the final design round also. And uh, right now we are in a state like we got a feedback from the SpaceX and we are now preparing for the next pod competition. And uh, the roles and responsibility that we share is basically I am managing the team right now currently. Mm -hmm. And uh, these people are from the group leads for mechanical, uh, prop, like mechanical part. And he's the group lead for the electric propulsion and all those part. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. So, um, in your in your perspective roles, what are some of the challenges that you guys have faced, um, in either electrical or mechanical or, or group leader? <laughs> yeah, so I'll tell you basically like we belong to one of the prestigious universities. So we are a team from Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. Mm -hmm. So it is ranked one of the like number one institute in India. Yep. Okay, so like most of the technologies like we have a culture for innovation already embedded in ourselves. So the challenges we face, like we are designing linear induction motors. Mm. Okay, so basically that technology is not readily available in the market and none of the companies have started actually manufacturing it. So like starting from the analytical calculations to doing with simulations and making a test table prototype. Mm. So like we have faced challenges all along the way, but with the help of our professors and guidance from our alumni, we have successfully cleared them all. Mm. Uh, from the mechanical's perspective, yep. the this current transportation technology is very new to the system. So the dynamics forces that comes into the role, it's very new as well. Because if something happens on the scalability side, if you look at it, if some forces are, if you are not know very well, it may happen that people may lose life as well. Yeah. So it kind of a very serious and critical problem. Because you are running a pod in a vacuum tube at a almost 1.2 Gs according to our calculations and if sudden accident happen then we have to look at the feasibilities as well so this is a responsibility that i am having right now yeah it's it's a large responsibility <laughs> um, so what what are some of the um things that you enjoy working on this project um or working uh in your role particular so I'll tell you about mine actually when uh, basically I do the project management part most of the time. So uh, so the challenges that I face is to gather people. So here the salary is not the motivation. Mm -hmm. 
so we have a student team which we don't give people pay to come and work for us yeah. okay. so the biggest motivation is to convince people that this is, this is going to be a best learning of your life and that i have to impart and tell people to come and sit with us learn uh, grow and everything so that is uh, one thing that initially people don't know what hyperloop is then we have to tell them how it is then we have to promote it uh, to that level we have to pitch and then they come and learn with us mm -hmm. so that's what is the challenge i face in the project management so i'll tell you like being an electrical lead mm -hmm. so we are basically master student mm -hmm. so one motivation for me is like i i want to give the knowledge that i have already gained during my undergraduation to the students who are new to the institute mm -hmm. another motivation for me is that like we are the reason they are participating in such a competition and they are able to get that uh, knowledge out from them mm -hmm. like they would have been they are like we are kind of motivating them to like uh, re like go or rise above that barrier that they have already made so one more thing is that like we have a team of comprising from undergrads to phd scholars mm -hmm. so another motivation is that they are the students are able to learn from their seniors as well so we are trying to develop an ecosystem and like being a part of it so that we can get a juniors to work with the seniors and like get them to learn more and more so as for my perspective i believe there is a lot of hyperloop concept is is an opportunity for the students to get that can improve the societal related problem see transportation system is sometimes is very in india particularly it's lagging very behind so it's the one of the most intriguing challenge for the upcoming generation to improve this concept and i believe this is the one of the features that i aspire my colleagues as well to work on this mm -hmm. well it's it's amazing um this project takes so much time uh to do yeah. and on top of your studies and on top of your life and 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 these are huge issues uh to tackle so um it it Good job on keeping all of this balanced and trying to do it all. <laughs> um, do you envision a Hyperloop replacing cars or or people or how and how they get places or where would you like the Hyperloop to be in anywhere on Earth um, if you could choose to be? Definitely, definitely. Uh, what I feel is uh, <clears throat> this new mode of transportation is going to be a revolutionary uh, thing in uh, in the field of uh, uh, like cargo uh, people moving from one place to another mm -hmm. so uh, the reason is uh, this is faster this is more approachable to people uh, in terms of cargo or passengers this is uh, this is more cheaper and uh, like everything uh, everything if you take out all the values from different modes of transportation like road rail air that comes here and it it makes a perfect combination of all those things so what i feel is this is uh, absolutely achievable and this is uh, uh, very revolutionary in terms of value addition to the transportation thing like one more thing i would like to add to suyesh is that like this will this is this will be possible in the coming decade itself it won't be like we will be there to see it and like being part of what we are inventing that's the another motivation for us like as you would be aware that like hyperloop one has signed an mou with the maharashtra government that is based in india yeah. to design an actual hyperloop pod between mumbai to pune so like that's a great thing and we like we feel like india would be the first country to have a functional hyperloop pod we hope that <laughs> that that would be amazing i would i would sign up to ride on that for the first time <laughs> we would like to invite you in india to to sit on a hyperloop first hyperloop <laughs> i'll do it i'll i'll wear my favorite uh cricket ipl league shirt on that <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah 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 but, which team is your favorite oh i i'll tell you later after we record <laughs> okay, okay, okay. i don't i don't want to offend anybody and i've been following all the news with hyperloop 1 and uh the different government sure. entities um that have signed the MOUs in India and it's so exciting um yes. i i just can't believe it i i'm so excited <laughs> to this in india so you guys That's... are in the perfect spot um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. um so let's switch gears a little bit and close out if you could um you know sit with Elon Musk and um ask him any question 
uh, would you, what would you ask, and uh, you know, whether it be Hyperloop related or not, um, what would it be? The first question I would like to ask him, how do you do that? <laughs> how do you all do all those stuff that you do? <laughs> Yeah. How did you make to <clears throat> space? How did you make to boring? How did you everything? So, so see, he's our inspiration. The, he's the guy behind uh, every everything that we move here. So, so basically, uh, I tend to tell my team and uh, uh, in such a manner that he works uh, 18 hours a day kind of thing, and he uh, he works for three companies in a week. So that kind of effort and hard work you also have to put in. So that kind of motivation I used to give to my team and I used to take from him. Yeah. So he is our ideal, Not, nothing very science scientific questions I would like to ask him. But the only thing is I would like to gather a lot of motivation. I would like to take a lot of uh, inspiration from him at any point. And firstly, I will be awestruck if I meet him. <laughs> so <Yeah. that's> a... <laughs> As Swish pointed out, but I would be asking a scientific question though. Okay. I would like to go to Mars first. I would be the first citizen to land. <laughs> that would be the right question. Awesome. When, you're, when it's going to happen. Yeah, I would, you're very brave. <laughs> but I would say that I'd be right behind you on that. <laughs> yeah. But, um, well, um, so how can, how can people find out more about your team and how can people support you or, um, or anything like that? Yeah. So uh, we are gradually catching uh, catching up on the internet. So Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, everywhere we are going to be there now, and we'll be having a website very soon. And uh, uh, obviously, the Indian supporters, the Indian industries are coming and uh, reaching out to us right now. But everyone, we are open to everyone. This is an open source concept, and we are open to everyone to come and support us in terms of technology, in terms of infrastructure or anything so we'll be releasing everything almost on the website uh, like in a in two weeks or something okay. and then yeah perfect um, well thanks again for taking the time out of your day uh, to join me in, within the hyperloop uh, thank you yeah. so much thanks thanks, Blake. thanks a lot thanks, Blake. <laughs>